The death toll at Meethodamulla has risen to 28 and many more are still missing. Has the government done enough to address the issue? Find out on News Matters. The death toll from the Meethodamulla disaster has risen to 28 and many more are still missing. Anguish has turned to anger as residents mourn the loss of lives. Six children are among the dead, several others unaccounted for. Hope fades as the Triforces continue digging to recover lost bodies. The government has ordered garbage disposal at Nithorimulla stopped and has identified two temporary locations elsewhere for garbage disposal. But does this address the issue at the core? Sri Lanka has a massive waste management problem that must be tackled and no longer ignored. It is estimated that over 700 tons of garbage is collected daily in Colombo alone. Unfortunately, no mechanism is in place to recycle this garbage and tackle the issue of waste in a sustainable manner. Dumping garbage in a manner that poses a severe threat to public health and safety has been the solitary solution of successive governments. The government made a stab at reform in January this year when it announced household garbage would not be collected if it were not separated into biodegradables, plastics, paper and glass. And while they must be commended for the effort, it is clear a far better plan with a deeper reach and greater effectiveness must be implemented as solution to the problem in the long term. The problem of waste disposal is not restricted to Sri Lanka alone. Many countries in South Asia are faced with the insurmountable problem of waste. But there are countries that have dealt with this problem effectively. Japan, for instance, sorts its garbage into 10 categories ranging from burnables to small metals to used cloth and bulk items. The Japanese were handed a 28-page booklet on how to sort 518 listed items into trash. Sweden is another example. In Sweden, more than 99% of household waste is recycled. 50% is burnt to produce energy. Swedes even import waste to turn to energy, so efficient is their waste disposal mechanism. Less than 1% goes to landfill. Japan has offered a team of experts to help Sri Lanka tackle its garbage issue, but with or without the help of the Japanese, Sri Lankans must do better at tackling garbage. It is not just the Sri Lankan government that must reform. Individual Sri Lankans, you and I, need to be more conscious of the plastics and polythene we buy and use without a care. It is our consumption and our disposal patterns that have given rise to the 300-foot garbage heap, a section of which fell on Mithodumula residents, causing loss to life. Just as the government must be spurred to action on waste disposal, so must we be spurred to action on the ways in which we dispose our garbage. It is also time for the dark elements to be dealt with. Politicians and the underworld that feed off the garbage issue should be exposed and severely dealt with. It is these political elements that stand in the way of innovators and investors who want to implement a long-term solution to the garbage issue. All of these issues must be addressed in a systematic manner to find a sustainable solution to the garbage issue. Join us for another segment of News Matters on Friday. I am Royal Raymond. Get the Daily News app free on your mobile phone. Visit apps.lakehouse.lk and download today. Daily News. Be better informed.